today we are going to talk about the renin angiotensin aldosterone axis of the system right it is one of the very important physiological system which is doing lot of function but most important function is blood pressure regulation that how the system regulates your blood pressure so let's start first to understand its physiology right and to understand its physiology let's take an example that due to some reason if my blood pressure is going down for example I develop some hemorrhage or bleeding I'm losing the blood out of my body then how the system is activated because the duty of the system is duty of renin angiotensin aldosterone system is to maintain my blood volume and to maintain my blood pressure volume and pressure in the vascular system should be regulated by this system it plays one of the very important role let's disturb the volume and pressure and see what happens to the system example we take that there is a patient and he got a roadside accident and he is losing blood right of course now we'll discuss that how the system is activated let's suppose that this is the circulatory system of that patient right the organs which are going to play a role in this whole game is number one central nervous system which is responsible for sympathetic outflow we will talk about the kidney is that right rather drawing the full kidney we'll draw a nephron here right so I draw a small kidney here right then there's a role played by the liver we'll talk about that what is that role and then very important role is played by pulmonary circulatory system and of course we will not forget the role which is played by adrenal cortex now let's start one by one what really happens that when your patient is bleeding let's suppose patient is losing the blood here naturally blood pressure is going down and blood volume is going down is that right many things will happen in the body one of the thing which will happen that if patient is bleeding and blood pressure goes down the blood flow to kidney will increase or decrease decrease the so first thing we'll say there is reduced renal perfusion now whenever there is reduced renal perfusion right then veins from the kidney the veins from the kidney start bringing an enzyme in the blood this enzyme is released in blood from the kidney this enzyme is called renin what I have said that whenever blood pressure goes down kidney start producing more renin and more renin come into blood but first of all we must study the kidney thoroughly that by reducing the blood pressure how kidney start producing renin right for this purpose I will bring one nephron out and show on the nephron the operators which is supposed to release renin one kidney has how many nephrons you know kidney they have very specialized tube you are millionaire as far as nephrons are concerned in one kidney there are about 1.2 million nephrons but I will just bring out of this kidney one nephron out right let's suppose this is the nephron here and this nephron I'm going to draw outside to explain that how really this system work this is one epithelial tube or nephron from the kidney right and we'll see how normally this nephron works in relationship to blood supply let's suppose this is afferent arteriole which is bringing the blood to the nephron these are glomerular capillaries and here is efferent arteriole what is this? this is afferent arteriole here it is efferent arteriole right and here is your nephron now what really happens that we say that blood is patient is bleeding naturally blood coming to kidney is less so of course blood flow to this nephron is also less so afferent arteriole has poor blood flow 
now this is very interesting thing nature has put, put blood pressure measuring devices with every nephron what a master system in the nature that nature has put blood pressure measuring device with every nephron so that every nephron knows how much blood is coming to it is it enough or not so Mr. Hadayat you will tell me what is the blood pressure measuring device with every nephron anyone has idea about you have any idea every nephron has blood pressure measuring device if you have 2.5 million nephrons right now in your two kidneys <coughs> there are 2.5 million blood pressure measuring devices with every nephron let me tell you one thing you see what is this this was afferent arterial the smooth muscle these are the normal smooth muscles are afferent arterial as afferent arterial approaches the what is this glomerulus right its smooth muscles become altered they are no more normal smooth muscles these are very specialized smooth muscles right and this group of very specialized smooth muscle which are present in the wall of afferent nephron uh, sorry afferent arteriole this is blood pressure measuring device these are the baroreceptors it means nature consider blood flow to nephron extremely important that is why nature measures the blood flow to every nephron right and this whole group it has been given a special name the name is called polkesen polkesen so what is polkesen polkesen are made of a special apparatus which is made of what modified afferent arteriolar smooth muscle which are able to measure the blood flow to nephron and whenever blood flow to nephron become less whenever the blood flow to nephron become less they start releasing renin into blood so it means they have double action one action is to measure the blood flow and second action is to release the renin it means they are acting like an endocrine gland because one group of cell releases the hormone into blood and acting into some distant area so every nephron has a small endocrine system with it am I clear? this is a blood pressure measuring device whenever your blood flow is coming less and there is less pressure on this operators as soon as this operators sense that blood flow is less or blood pressure is less it will start releasing which substance? renin, renin. ok write it like this it is the renin so this is one way how renin is re released by the special operators from the nephron now another mechanism is also there first understand normal normally what happens that when blood is moving through the glomerular capillaries there is some filtration done there is glomerular filtrate am I clear? now this glomerular filtrate normally has lot of sodium and many other substances of course the, what are these? these are the cells in the walls of nephron <coughs> right now listen nephron has lot of cells in its wall now you see normally when there is normal blood flow then there is normal filtration and filtration normally is about 120 ml per minute in the all nephron this filtered material start going down but because it has lot of sodium nephron cells take the sodium back to the body is that right? about 70% of the sodium or 60 to 70% of the sodium which is filtered as it is moving through proximal convoluted tubule it is reabsorbed back to the body we don't want to lose the sodium then sodium keeps on moving forward and about 25% of the sodium is reabsorbed here if 65% sodium if 100 unit of sodium go down 65 is reabsorbed here and 25 is reabsorbed here how much is left 